is Katie Goldsey, and I will be performing as Nora from A Doll's House. Hello, my name is Mark Anthony Perez, and I'll be performing as Tor Hall from A Doll's House. And face each other. And drop into your use and use, and once you feel the connection, walk to your place. Tomorrow, tomorrow I shall go home, to my old hunger. It'll be easiest for me if I'm happy to be there. <sighs> my foolish woman. Just try and find some sense, Torvald. To desert your home, your husband, and your children, and you'll consider what people will say. I cannot consider that at all. I only know that it is necessary for me. It's shocking. This is how you would neglect your most sacred duties. What do you consider my most sacred duties? Do I have to tell you that? Are they not your duties to your husband and your children? I have other duties just as sacred. That you have not. Ooh. What duties could those be? Duties to myself. You are a wife and a mother. I don't believe that. Not anymore. I believe that before all else, I am a reasonable human being, just as you, or at the very least, I must try to become one. I know quite well, Torvald, that most people would think you quaint, and views of that kind are to be found in books, but I can no longer content myself with what most people think right or what is to be found in books. Can you not understand your place in your own home? Have you no reliable guide for matters such as that? Have you no religion? I'm afraid, Torvald, I'm not quite sure what religion is. What do you say? I only know what the clergyman said when I'm going to be confirmed. I, you know, he said that religion was this and that and the other. I, when I am alone and away from all of this, I will look into that matter too. I don't believe what the clergyman said is true, or at the very least, if it's true for me. This is unheard of in a girl of your age. But if religion cannot lead you aright, let me try and awaken your conscience. Tell me, you must have some moral sense, or am I to think you have none? I assure you, Torvald, that is not an easy question to answer. The thing perplexes me altogether. I really don't know. I only know that you and I look at it in quite a different light. I'm learning, too, that the law is not what I supposed. I can't find myself to believe it is right. According to which, a woman has no right to spare her old dying father or to save her husband's life. I cannot believe that. You talk like a child. You don't understand the conditions of the world in which you live. No, I don't. But I'm going to try. I'm going to see if I can make out who's right, the world or I. You, you are ill, Nora. You, you are delirious. I almost think you are out of your mind. I have never felt my mind so clear and certain as tonight. And it is with a clear and certain mind that you forsake your husband and your children? Yes, <laughs> it is. Any more impossible explanation? What is that? You do not love me anymore. Oh. No. That is just it. Here, Miss Nora, you can. You can say that. It must be great pain, Torvald, for you have always been so kind, but that was a 
doesn't matter. It's I do not want to be on these lines. And that and that and that is with a clear and certain conviction that I would like. Yes. Absolutely clear and certain. And you can tell me what I've done to forsake your love. Yes, indeed I can. But tonight, when the wonderful thing did not happen, it was then that I saw you and not from that I saw who you Please explain yourself. I, I don't understand you. I've waited for eight years for I know wonderful things don't happen every day, but when this horrible misfortune came upon me, never once did I imagine that this wonderful thing would happen again. When Karstad's letter was lying there, never once did I imagine that you would, I was so absolutely certain that you would take it upon yourself and say, publish the thing to the whole world. And when that was done... Just what then? When I exposed my wife to shame and disgrace? When that was done! I was so absolutely certain that you would take, 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 just take that little thing to yourself and say, I need to get to the it. Nora! You mean that I wouldn't have accepted such a sacrifice on your part? No, of course not. What would my assurances have been worth against yours? That was the wonderful thing for which I hoped for and feared, and it was to prevent that, that I wanted to kill myself. I, I would gladly work night and day for you, Nora, bear sorrow and want for your sake, but no man would dis disgrace his honor for the one he loves. It's the thing hundreds of thousands of women have done. You Talk and think like a heathen child. Maybe. But you neither talk nor think like a man I could bind myself to. As soon as your fear was ended, and it was not fear for what threatened me, but for what might happen to you. As soon as, the, as, soon as it was over, it was exactly as if nothing had happened. Exactly as before, I was your doll, your skylark. taken away. But depart! Depart with me, Nora! No, no, I can't understand that idea! It makes it all the more certain it must be done. My wife, whatever becomes of you. You think I don't? I have heard that when a wife deserts her husband, as I am doing now, and is legally freed from any and all obligation toward her, as it is, then you are not to feel yourself bound in the slightest any more than I shall. Here's my ring. You give me mine. That, that too. That too. Here it is. It's all over. I've left the keys 
here. The maids know about the house even more than I. Tomorrow when I've left her, I shall send Christine to collect the things I brought with me from home. I will have them sent after me. Oh, Nora, she will never think of me again. I know I shall often think of you, the children, and this house. Let me write to you. No, no, you must not do that. At least let me send you. Nothing. Let me. Nothing. Let me help you if you were in so if you were in want. I can receive nothing from a stranger. And I never be anything more than a stranger to you. Oh, the most wonderful thing of all would have to happen. Tell me what that would be. Two of us would have to be so changed that, well, well, I no longer believe in wonderful things happening. But I will believe in it. Tell me. So change that. That the two of us together, our life would be a real red block. Goodbye, Torvald. Nora! Nora! Yeah!